Checking in with team number 364 here down at the Houston Championship. I'm here with Keanu, George, and Robert. And we're talking to the winners of both the Bayou and the Rocket City Regionals. And this team is absolutely on fire right now here in their division. So we're going to talk about a few things. We've got some cool props here and an amazing control system. So, Robert, why don't you start us off with this awesome intake you have here? All right, so first off, we have our hatch intake, which is are these two flippers right here that whenever we drive up to the player station, they open and it's pneumatic and they hold on very tight. And then whenever we outtake, these two close and while these push out, so you're not just relying on the power of the Velcro, you have that push as well. Now for our cargo intake, uh, these open, all of these open, and these motors spin inward, sucking in the ball, and then they compress. All of them compress. So we have extra traction for whatever we outtake, which just spins them the other way. So we can get a very powerful uh, forward shot. And this also is uh, actuating, so we can go go defense we can be completely inside of our frame perimeter if for any reason uh to stay safe i think we'll show some of those actuations we talk about the control system a little bit so let's uh, move over here to george he's gonna be talking a little bit more about the climber uh, on the robot so you got a prop here and of course we can show that off on the bot too all right so uh our climb is completely automated we can go level two or level three and how it starts off is right here on the front of our robot these flipper arms will come down as our elevator lifts. And once this elevator starts pushing down, it's programmed for our uh, climbing mech in the back to push down as well. And they're going at the same speed to a certain encoder counts to keeps it mostly level. And then once this elevator hits the bottom, our back end actually raises up just a little bit more so clear our bumpers. And then from there on, we have these little wheels on the bottom, just these two inch Colsons and they'll drive us forward. And then once our wheels catch, we're clear on. As soon as this comes up, we can drive forward if we need to, turn on the platform, whatever we need to do. That's been very consistent and looking absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to sneak in the back here, talk with Keanu. Keanu, this is a pretty awesome control system you have here. Uh, definitely speaks to me with my age a little bit. But So what's going on with this? And we'll show up a couple cool actuations. OK, so on the control board here, you'll see that there's hatch and cargo mode. And then they have intake position, intake, outtake, which are both automated. They click it, and then the intake is going to run until the beam brake is broken, or if they're in hatch mode, it's just going to go once because it's on pneumatics. Sure. Uh, then they have collapse and defense, which are just basically different versions of the same thing. Moving inside the frame perimeter, collapse Can is set. Show off some of this as it's going. Yes, yes. Um, so if I hit intake position, it starts off in hatch mode, uh, and then we can go to level one, level two, and level three. If I go back to level one, um, it's actually automated that whenever we intake, it's going to open and lift up so that we clear the bristles and we're not going to have hatches fall off that way. Sense, yeah. And then they can easily just go back to level one if they'd like to uh, go back down to the position for scoring on the cargo ship and a level one of the rocket. Uh, and then we also have the cargo mode, so we can hit intake position there and then all that opens and moves down, articulated perfectly to intake the, uh, the cargo. Now, if I were to hit the intake button, that would actually run for four seconds until the beam Do we have a ball somewhere? Yeah, use your hand. I'm going to in, intake, and he's going to break the beam. Right. So there we go. There it goes. So now it's intake. That compresses. Make sure we have the ball and everything. And then uh, then they would just hit outtake. And basically, well, there's no ball in there, but it runs the outtake wheels until the ball's clear the beam, and then it, like, smacks it out to make sure it's definitely in there. So I want to ask you on here, what is this? Uh, I see this player two button here. Uh, what are these down here for? Okay, so these are the climb buttons. <laughs> this box actually isn't wired up right now. We just have two buttons on here for our climb, a level two climb button and a level one climb button. We gave, okay. that, we gave control of that over to our driver, but this is just still here on the control board. Uh, so yeah. a little aesthetic choice there, aesthetic huh? Aesthetic choice, yeah. Uh, so the climb is actually automated. They just have to drive up, make sure the bumpers are flush against the, uh, the hab, and they just hit the button and it takes over. So everything that you're seeing, every single match with every single climb is one button. Very cool. Well, 3 at 64 looking absolutely phenomenal here at the Houston Championship. I mean, just look at this machine. Uh, also, number 19 in our FRC Top 25. So, Team Fusion, good luck to you the rest of the competition. Can't wait to see what you guys do. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.